New at 5.30, a Rhode Island team is sending innovation across the world. Yeah, this is really neat. A group of local college students have built a boat that will sail across the Atlantic all by itself. Green Team reporter TJ Del Santo has been working the story and joins us now. The first autonomous solar-powered transatlantic crossing is about ready to launch. The design team, a group of local college kids. In this Tiverton garage, this group of five friends has spent countless hours working on this 12-foot solar-powered boat named Scout. The Scout's are fully autonomous, so we have uh, pre-programmed waypoints that it will follow across the Atlantic. These solar panels will power the motor and the electronics to get it all the way to Spain. A tremendous project for this group who all have some sort of engineering background. We all grew up together since we were little kids and uh, we've, we've been building projects ever since we can remember. About a year and a half ago after a late night working on another project, Dylan Rodriguez came up with the idea of making a solar powered boat to send across the Atlantic. The problem was that there's no instruction manual for building this kind of system. This one does navigation and this one does all the communication and all the sensor. With donations of money, materials, and ideas, they're just about done. They need to make it more hydrodynamic, put it together, and do some testing. They've thought of everything, including tilting the deck so the solar panels will always face the sun. But they still have concerns. The two big concerns are debris and other ships. They're using a trolling motor, which is designed to deflect debris, which should limit one of the problems. It's a big ocean. You know, the chances of a direct hit, we think, are pretty slim. They plan to launch Scout in about three weeks, and after the boat's 45-day journey, the team is hoping to meet up with Scout on the other side of the ocean. I think by the end, we'll have all learned a lot more. It'll be really, really exciting and amazing. And if you'd like to track the progress of Scout, we'll put a link on our website at WPRI.com. For the Green Team, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.